Hello, Hello, we're Moss Charmley. On this episode, it's all about Huion and Lennox. We will cover hardware, operating system, and drivers, and how the Huion 16 2.5K runs on Lennox. Nice. Okay. The hardware we are using was built by both of us in this. It was fun and sometimes a scary, scary. build for us, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we did it and it works super well. So this computer really works great for us. Mm -hmm. We yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here is the parts list, just so you know what it is made of. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> the motherboard is the MSI Meg B550 Unify X. It's built for gaming, so it's able to be overclocked. It has two slots of RAM. We wanted something that was a bit hardy. So the power supply is the EVGA 750 GA. That's a 750 watt gold certified power supply. The GPU is a Sapphire Pulse AMD Radeon RX 570 XT. The CPU is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, the RAM we have in it right now is Corsair Vengeance, 16 gigabytes. Uh, it's DDR4 at 3600. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> the Linux operating system we are using is Pop OS 22.04. Mm -hmm. It is really user friendly and has GPU and many drivers pre-installed, so it is basically install and go. Mm. Some tweaking is always necessary after Linux installs, but that's normal. Very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Huion drivers for Linux are a Debian format. We wanted to install it the easiest way possible. Mm -hmm. Any Ubuntu-based distro is compatible with the Huion supplied drivers. Mm -hmm. Pop! OS isn't doing an intermittent upgrade path because they are working on a new desktop created in Rust instead of using their modified GNOME desktop environment. Mm -hmm. System76 ensures that everything is being updated like the kernel and drivers and much more. So Pop! OS ultimately is a very good Ubuntu distro, so feel confident with using it long term, honestly. So yeah, right? Yes. Now, now for, for the, the Huion, Huion driver, driver installation. installation. <laughs> Huion has a YouTube video showing the install process, which is a really nice touch. The drivers have been in beta for a long time. We're not sure how long, but we've been waiting for them to get out of beta so we could give them a try on our Linux, you know, OS. Huion has a lot of tablets that are now compatible with Linux, which is nice to see. We are using the Canvas Pro 16 2.5K. To download, select the Linux specific driver which with the deb file format and download. Once it is finished, go to your download folder and select the huion.deb driver to install it. It is really fast and easy, so just click and go. Don't throw away the install package in your downloads because now that it has been down downloaded, it now becomes an uninstaller as well. So it's basically just an install, uninstall, you know, driver manager. So um, after all, everything has been downloaded and installed, it is necessary to restart your system, which is normal. Um, yeah, just to make sure everything works correctly. Yeah, exactly. Some things to make sure it all works. Um, firstly, mm -hmm. the Huion driver application has to be on when using the tablet. Second, the Huion tablet has to be the primary display. That can be altered in settings, no problem. <laughs> Programming the eight keys on the side are easy to do in the app. It's just about knowing what you want them to be. The stylus can be programmed as well. I always make uh, one of the keys E for eraser in Krita. Now we are ready to go. The digital painting app we are using is Krita. We thought it would be the best example for an art program to use in Linux because it was built for Linux in mind. Uploading Krita is easy. The ways to get Krita in Pop! OS is either through the Pop! Shop or direct, directly from the Krita website. We chose the Flatpak version of Krita from the Pop! Shop. We have a great video on how to customize Krita and make it a little easier to use if you are transitioning from Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or something like that. You know, even if you're not transitioning from a specific program, nobody says you can't use multiple programs to get your desired artistic style, or what you're looking for, how you want it to look. I mean, you can use Krita for sketching and drawing or even use another program for coloring if you want. Yeah. Um, right? <laughs> 
I mean, honestly, it's, it's really up to you. You are the artist. Um, you know, the layouts we have created for Krita is a uniform layout that we use because it makes it easier for, for us to go back and forth between the programs we use. Yeah, it matches, it matches uh, our Clip Studio because we right? use that yeah. mostly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Krita is a, is a very paint-centric program. Yeah. You know, um, the layer effects and brushes are very intuitive for painters. You know, we highly recommend it for digital artists. Yeah, it's really great. Mm-hmm. Now okay. is the good and the bad. Very bad, in fact, in some parts. Honestly, yeah. Stay, so stay with us. It's okay. Mm -hmm. The experience of using the tablet on Mac and Linux are not distinguishable. Lag was only present if there were a lot of layers and I had the stabilization way up on a brush. I always forget that you are supposed to go slow when stabilizing the brush stroke. Mm -hmm. I really don't like using stabilization, so I really don't have a problem at all with lag even with just 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, works fine. Yeah. Pressure sensitivity was spot on for me and brushes were sensitive and precise. To be honest, I felt Krita was a bit janky on Mac as opposed to Linux. Pop! OS uses um, X11 protocol, which Krita works really well with. Yeah. Visually and kinesthetically, the pairing of hardware and Pop! OS works great. No complaints, but... but <laughs> We have one big gripe about the harmony of Pop! OS and the Huion drivers and hardware. It's big for me and us, really, uh, but maybe not for some. Um, it, we couldn't get the pop-up palette to work on Krita. We really love that. We have another video about it. Yes. Um, because it's just such an intuitive little thing you can customize for yourself. And you just press your little button, you pop up, everything's right in front of you. You know, super. It makes Krita super efficient and a great program to work great. with. Great. I wish other programs used it. Yeah, said that before, had that really, same thing. You know, you know, we experimented with Pop OS, um, and oh, you know, we found out that it has a pre-installed Wacom driver, and Wacom tablets work fine on Linux, by the way. But that's not what this is about at all. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah. When, when I turned off the Hu the Huion app on Pop OS and set it up as a Wacom tablet in Pop, the pop up palette worked great. But I couldn't even, you know, I could even program the keys on the tablet, you know, in, in that section of, of the drivers. But after restarting, the keys on the Huion weren't what was programmed. But the tablet worked great. Very, in, It was very interesting. It was really, honestly, confusing. So in conclusion, we couldn't really figure out what was wrong and just stuck with the Huion drivers being active. Maybe that'll change in the future. But... To be entirely honest, I'm not really sure which we will settle on. You know, the Huion drivers let Pop! OS, you know. Or let Pop! OS think it's think a Wacom tablet. It's a tablet. tablet. Yeah. So no matter what, it is a great pairing of hardware. And if you have or you want to use Linux, and if you have a, a Huion tablet that is compatible, go for it. Yeah. Linux is the most used OS in the world. And thanks to devices like the Steam Deck and companies like System76, more users are being exposed to it and what it can do for them and the PC world in the future. Yeah, we hope this helps you out. And we definitely want you to know if you've built a new computer or have a laptop you want to install Linux on, Pop! OS is a really good choice. It's a very simple OS to install and get running right away on multiple devices. GPU drivers are pre-installed for AMD and NVIDIA-specific GPUs, so you don't have to go Team Red or AMD all the time. Blender on Linux works better with NVIDIA GPUs, and if you're not editing with KDN Live, you can use DaVinci Resolve with NVIDIA as well. Yeah. Pop! OS. Um, Pop! also has excellent laptop support with toggles for hybrid graphics, GPU, and CPU usage and power consumption. So we hope this was entertaining and a little helpful, but most of all, keep trying new things, especially if it could help you with your journey of creating art. Moss, Moss Charmly, Charmly out. out. So make it ugly till it's not, okay? Yes, make great art. Yeah. Just keep arting, people, keep for real. doing your best. Mm -hmm.